Welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited to say that I booked my flight to China next year and I got a really good deal on the flight so I decided to make this video about how to get cheap flights. Just a quick disclaimer, this is just what I do when I'm searching for cheap flights. It's not to say that if you follow all of these tips to a T that you will get the same results that I do. Number one, search for one-way tickets versus round-trip tickets. Sometimes if you book a one-way ticket both ways, it would be cheaper than if you were to book a round-trip ticket. The same can be said is if you book flights and hotels together versus booking them separately. Sometimes you'll get a better deal with booking them separately, sometimes you'll get a better deal booking them together. So just keep an eye out for those and watch to see which one is cheaper. Be patient. This is a big one. I was checking over and over again to see where I could get the cheapest flights to China. I'm not going until next year and I just booked my flights. The general rule is about three months in advance. Start looking for your flights about three months in advance. This is usually when the airlines have enough information to accurately price the flight. And I'm not saying that like there's going to be some crazy sale three months before your trip. I'm saying that the airline has enough information or enough interest to see how to price that flight. The, fl the price of the flight could actually go up or down closer to the date of departure. Check your airline's website directly. If you know what airline you want to take, check their website directly. Check, you know, American, United. I'm getting my trip to China on Air Canada, so check there too. Sometimes the airline themselves will publish the best price. Clear your browsing history. Going back to the airlines having enough interest in the flight, the browsing history kind of helps them in that way too. They can see what kind of flights you've been looking at and they can price them that way too. Even if nobody's booked them yet, they can see who's looking at what flight. The same goes for things like Expedia. They can see what flights people are looking at and they can price them that way too. Remember that the cheapest days to fly are Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Most business trips happen Thursday or Friday until Sunday, so a lot of the times airlines will raise the prices for the weekend. Travel during the off-season. If you're going somewhere, research the off-season and travel then. It'll be cheaper. Enroll in a frequent flyer program or an airline credit card. When I booked my flight to China, I booked it through Expedia, which I'm a member, and you can earn points on purchases. I did it through Ebates, which gives me 10% cash back on all Expedia purchases, and I put it on a travel rewards credit card. I got cash back and rewards three different ways, doing it that way. The biggest one is to be flexible. Flexible on date, flexible on location, flexible on airport, um, flexible on layovers. Does your flight really have to be non-stop? Can you afford to have one stop? It might be cheaper that way. I usually use Google Flights or Skyscanner as my main search engines when I'm searching for flights. What I like about Skyscanner is that there is a search everywhere feature where if you don't care where you're going and you just want to go and you don't even care when, you can tell them where you're flying from, you can put everywhere in the to field, and then you can choose the cheapest month and it'll give you just a list of the cheapest flights whether it's domestic or international and whether it's a month from now or four months from now. They'll give you a whole list of cheap flights and you can choose that way. So that's it guys. I don't think I have anything else to say on cheap flights. I will list a couple of my favorite travel search engines down in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!